And we are continuing to follow a developing story out of El Cajon where a fire broke out inside of a home killing dozens of pets. So this broke out just before 6 a.m. this morning, brought it to you live along Pepper Hill Drive near Villa Crest. News 8's Chris Groh has been at the scene all morning long and joins us live now with an update on how everyone's doing there and, and, and the update on the pets that were lost. Hey, look, right now at this hour, things are much more calm than they were earlier this morning when we saw those fire trucks. We also saw the Humane Society helping out because of how many pets uh, were still in this home or, or had to be rescued from inside this home. But let's backtrack to 545 this morning. That's when uh, El Cajon Fire and other fire departments say that this fire started. Uh, and it was actually, according uh, to the man who lives inside the home with his wife, one of their dogs that actually barked loud enough, barked enough, if you will, to actually wake them up to the fire, which they believe started in the garage, got them out safely, got those three dogs out safely. Uh, but really the tragedy here, uh, not only the damage to the home, but inside that garage where they believe that that fire started, uh, that's where uh, the man who lives inside the home has been breeding snakes like boa constrictors and pythons uh, for more than two decades. He believes about 50 to 60 of them inside there, uh, but only one of them so far has been accounted for. It's a lot of time and effort to, and, and, you know, money to feed the rats and, and you know, luckily the rats are, are feed for, for the snakes, but then the bigger snakes ate rabbits, so, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just sad. Um, I'm just devastated by it, you know, because they, they literally burn up. And we also saw uh, some some kind of lizard uh, was also rescued uh, that, that they saw. They brought it out, kind of had like suds on it from inside the fire, uh, but it was doing well. And then also a tortoise, again, Humane Society helping them out as well as the Red Cross. Uh, no word yet, though, on what they believe may have caused the fire inside that garage from uh, first responders. Reporting in El Cajon for News 8, I'm Chris Groh.